up, y'all? It's me, Toy Man Goddess, coming in with a quick message. Y'all already know what I'm coming to do. I'm coming to bring the actual factuals. This message is for the age group of the 30s and the 40s crowd. Yes, it is. Um, somebody is sitting now listening with their t-shirt and their undies on. T-shirt and my panties on. T-shirt and my panties on. Mm. Somebody is a non-believer. You're not believing that fat meat is greasy. Everything is in front of your face, giving you signs, um, symptoms, symptoms, meaning your energy. Um, shit, other people's energy introducing itself before they speak. Uh some of those flutters that you're feeling in your stomach, those are signs and symptoms, as well as these repeating numbers. Your spirit guides and your ancestors have been trying to get your attention through repeating numbers. There's been some irreversible damage, right? Too much bullshit. T-shirt and panties on. Mm -hmm. Your sex game fire. Someone turned out. But these repeating numbers are your angel guides trying to tell you that shit is about to be ten times harder. Dealing with who you dealing with is what I just heard. It's like this person ain't even on your level, male or female. This person ain't on your level. Um, Y'all don't even have um, the same balance within. Um, you've worked on yourself. This person has not. You faced your fears. This person has not. This You are doing some shit out here to help co-create a life um, to where you're going to be comfortable. Um, you're trying to vibe on that wavelength. This person is very low vibrational. Um, but you turned them out with that sex game or either they turned you out with the sex game. But it's been some irreversible damage. What's the repeating number you keep seeing? What's that repeating number? I see it's a breakup coming, though, with this Two of Cups reverse energy. It's a breakup coming. Um, let's see what's up with this irreversible damage. A tower. It's about to be a change in this relationship. At the bottom of my deck, I got Five of Cups energy. It's about to be, you, you, you know, you're going to be a little regretful of what is going to take place next. Um... Because it's like somebody has more than just you um, as a as a partner, right? Spirit said, choose wisely. Or this may be something that's about to creep up in your mind's eye. Um, I feel like with this Ace of Pentacles reverse, you may be dealing with this person strictly out of monetary gain. Mm -hmm. With this two of, two of Swords, yeah, they have awarded you in some way. But with this two of swords and the six um, of swords reversed, it's like they didn't change the game. Now you seeing how fake, they seeing how fake you are. You seeing how fake they are. Take it how it resonates. But this was a, um, a relationship of convenience. This person, you were willing to help them. They didn't turn down that help because um, it came with a proposal of love and it helped to bring them into a different type of um, environment, you know, a comfort level. The timing was all wrong for this situation ship here, though, you know what I'm saying? Because it cut off some um, prosperous beginnings is what I'm hearing. With this fool reversed on on the bottom of the deck, it was a change in path. Somebody took risks, you know, because the sex game was fire. Um, but it's like this is unstable. It is it's very unstable territory, but your needs are being met. But it's like, you know, it's a barter game. It's like you do this for me. I sit on your face type energy. You know what I'm saying? Somebody working hard for the evil money. Somebody working hard for um, money and gifts that's being offered to them, you know, for sexual favors. But somebody said, no, nah, shit, why buy the cow? Why buy the beef when I got the cow at home? However you put that, that's too many, spirit. But this person is very two-faced in their dueling nature. And since they know that they got you where it hurt, you know what I'm saying, in the panties, you know, they're playing with you. This person is foul with this nine of swords reversed. Um, and it's something that they're struggling to tell you. It's, it's a paranoia that's set up in them. You know, they're um, they, they, they all in their head. You know, they all in their head and they trying to think of a defense tactic. 
Um, it's something that's bringing, that's going to bring them some shame. Therefore, you connected with this person sexually is going to bring you some shame as well. Um, this is a person um, who once was able to meet all your needs, right? But there was some shit that switched up in the game. And it started when you started to see these repeating numbers is what Spirit just said. Mm -hmm. It was something like a, a book playing out. It was a book playing out for you about this new relationship telling you to retreat, telling you to get away from this person and pull your energy back and to check in with source, check in with divine and check in with your spiritual team. So you can see if this was the right move to make withdrawing, you know what I'm saying? Because, um, y'all not on the same fucking level. You a loyal person. This person is not, you know, with this death card, this is a new chapter with a sex thing water energy air energy and it's about some money you understand what i'm saying it's it's, it's something new that then came in the game though because this money i feel like it's being cut off and so was your intuition you blind the g said but you can see they want you to remove the blindfold because it, it's like a, a trapped in the box type of feeling you know what i'm saying like when you put a when when you make those makeshift boxes and shit to catch catch the vermin in your garden, you didn't do this. Somebody wasn't tending to their garden the way they were supposed to. They wasn't tending to their garden the way they were supposed to. A lot stopped, you know, with these these gifts and um, so, you know being taken care of. Somebody was forced to step out of a comfort zone and to grow up form some new ideas and plans to bust through these obstacles that all, of all kind that was coming towards you since this monetary, you know, this, this money was cut off, right? <clears throat> these gifts, you know, they, they were something to doubt anyway because it came with strings attached. Once you see how this person, you know, was taking care of everything, then it was like this minds, you know, it was not, it wasn't we anymore. This person possessed this, this emotional maturity and shit. You see that they got this silly fied motherfucking persona about them and this mutual attraction, you know, it's, it's, it's a lot of disharmony now. And that's because the scale's not balanced. You know what I'm saying? The scales are not balanced. I see within one week, sometime soon, this is a future message that a tower will be coming. You know what I'm saying? It's going to have to be a choice to make. Is this person in your life to add or subtract? You know what I'm saying? Even though they brought, you know, a lot of material successes to you, you know what I'm saying? This person was able to take care of you the way you, and fit your needs and shit. It's a lot of shit that you got to deal with. It's a lot that comes with this, you know? It's a lot of shit that comes with this. This may be your child's father or child's mother. Take it where it resonates, you know what I'm saying? Um, however... Um, your intuition and your angels have been trying to tell you something through these numbers. With this page of wands reverse, um, this person is distracting you from a, a, a path a path of um, of prosperity, right? To where you're able to progress along um, a, not a slope, but even pavement, right? This person always throwing some tantrums when you trying to do something that pertains solely to your own personal growth and shit. And they feel as though they always got a solution, right? They always got a solution. This person always got a problem for a solution, though. You know, and that's distracting, very distracting. And then this lazy, lackadaisical-ass, dark-ass energy they have, you know, concerning this child is what I'm seeing. You know what I'm saying? It's like somebody um manifested a child a pregnancy take it where it resonates you know what i'm saying if the child is not here and this woman is pregnant somebody manifested this you know what i'm saying this was already planned and shit you know so they can reap this monetary benefits yeah they somebody was lied to or somebody doing some motherfucking lying y'all know what the hell i'm saying it's a scandal that's been created about of the injustice of someone not choosing wisely right as far as you know money is concerned you know um job paths because you know, um, the G said, if you would have tapped into your own uh, magical resources, considering you know any contentment that you needed to have, being quick witted about these new projects that you know was gonna bring in some money, you know, the G's 
said those were the choices that you were supposed to make instead of putting yourself in this karmic situation to where you know you have to rely on someone else and then there's always some sort of transition that you have to make because this person you know they feel as though they got one up on you and then they start acting all fucked up and shit two-faced in this shit you know what i'm saying um yeah fuck all that and I feel like, you know, it's, it's a lot of decisions that you need to make that is difficult, you know, concerning your feelings for this person and what path it is that you need to take. But, um, you know, being in this deceptive ass energy um, is, is a cause for some health issues is what the G said. Um, if there isn't any health issues that are already present with this high priestess and the six of pentacles reversed, it's like somebody really need to check themselves. Mm -hmm. They need to check themselves and they need to, you know, um, tap into this high priestess energy um, because what you have is this is, is is this spiritual team who is pressuring you. They pressuring you just like this this person is pressuring you. They are pressuring you to adapt to this 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 the spiritual side of you. This side of you that is 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 very intuitive is what I'm seeing. Um, you, you're 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 not using um, logic. Yeah, you're not using logic um, because of what it is that you're desiring. It's hard for you to shed these old patterns and begin um, some new cycles and phases in your life um, because those new cycles and phases that 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 um, is trying to usher its way into your world is going to show you a different way of living to where you will be successful on that path. You know what I'm saying? You you'll you you you'll move it up a notch not only you know as far as you know your money is concerned you know um without being codependent and letting people care for you um that you won't even have to have any doubt or any fear um because present day i feel as though that's what you have and that's because of this person that you connected with who you're codependent on but it's been some shit that's happened right and i feel as though it might be some sort of ailment some physical ailment some altercation um some bodily damage that you know um is interrupting the flow and it's coming from this emperor reverse um, this fire energy, somebody, um, you know, is very immature, this male energy, or this could be a female in her masculine energy, bringing confusion to your personal realm of being. I feel as though, you know, it's always a compromising position to where you have to forgive this person, forgive yourself for any alienation, for any um, disorder that may be caused um, because of this person. It's like what's needed to be done is you not biting your tongue yeah let that negative talk come up out of you and shit you know what i'm saying because you holding it in it's distracting you is what i heard and it's in this and it's enabling you as well it's enabling you as well you have skills is what the g said you're skilled in areas in your life you have um knowledge that's accessible to you maybe some type of training to where you um have practiced some self-development some type of some type of skill that you have that you make good money from right and it's a it's a cunning idea is what the g said ain't no time for you to be lending your money that's misdirecting your energy and your energy is misdirected when it comes to money the g's want you to be still they want you to be still you you know being link with this person has is a cause for you to be very emotional and sometimes when we emotional if not all the time we can't think straight you know what i'm saying we can't think straight and with this nine of cups reverse it's like it's it's been some mistakes made you know as far as this connection is concerned no one is perfect you know you do um have some sort of inner happiness when it comes to this person you do have some sort of inner happiness when it comes to this person, right? Um, it's like, um, but a lot of it has to do with um, whatever mistakes that you made as far as um, making sure that you can fend for yourself. But 
your judgment being clouded, it should be a thing of the past because you've been in this energy before. A lot of the circumstances and events that have played out in your life with this connection, you've been here before. And it's been some straight bullshit to cloud your judgment, right? Um, you've been successful um, being determined to align yourself in the past is what the G said. Right now, this person has too many choices and it's making you, you know what I'm saying, give up on your personal values and um, that project that you started um, getting yourself together. You know what I'm saying? Loving on you. Something is about to end and it's going to be this connection with this. Um, it's going to dissipate with this three of cups reverse. Um, so you can celebrate you. So you can celebrate you and so you can start tapping into this high priestess energy and, and 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 getting these creative juices flowing is what I just heard. You're about to have some aha moments. It's going to be an epiphany to come to you just at the right time. Just at the right time. Pay attention to those repeating numbers too that you keep seeing is what the G said. But, you know, this person, you know, might have some good stuff. You know what I'm saying? Penis or a vagina, take it where it resonates. But um, this person is making shit rough. It's making it hard for you to boss up emotionally. And that's because this person is like a mystery to this connection. You know? Okay, you're doing for me, but what, what else is it that you bring into the table? But what is it that you bring into the table is what the G said. You receiving, you know, all the fucked up sides of this person, and that's how they express themselves, and that's because you've passed them the baton, you know, kind of quick, like, because they was meeting a need. It's something that you unprepared for that's going to be coming towards you. You know, you already hip to this person being lippity liar, all talk and no action, um, always hooping and hollering, talking shit, right? But you, it's it's urge for you to it's a it's a it's an urgent need for you to tap into your high priestess energy, for you to sit up in prayer and meditation, um, and in order to do that, you're gonna have to avoid tink tink whoever this person is who want to keep you in this five of swords energy, you know what I'm saying? This, this hateful ass energy who want to keep you um, vibing low so you can't see that there's a way out. Mm -hmm. History don't have to repeat itself, but history going to repeat itself win or lose dealing with this person. Win or lose. And you know, this person is very argumentative. Very argumentative and always got some shit to talk. They fake as fuck. They do. You know, your position in life has changed, and you know, that's a lesson that was a blessing in disguise. You know, it was. It was a lesson that was a blessing in disguise, is what the G said. And they want you to stop biting your tongue, step up to the plate, and speak your truth. That's going to help usher in this healing energy as well. You're very intuitive, is what they say. Very intuitive. Very intuitive, and they want you to tap into it ASAP. They want you to get nosy. They want you to get nosy about where it is that you see your life going, where it is that you want your life, and where the at this point, you know, in time, you know, you have kids, and that's what you're supposed to be focused on. They're your legacy. <clears throat> it's what I just heard. Their inheritance, you know what I'm saying? Their gifts, you know, with this Four of Pentacles and this Eight of Cups, their gifts, um, the joy and the satisfaction that's supposed to be created for them. You know what I'm saying? Um, what 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 is their perception of 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 the things that has been going on in the past, regardless of how old these children are or how old this child is? You know, this child is lacking playfulness, just like you, just like you. This child is lacking playfulness, just like you. There's a splitting and a parting of the ways that's coming. It's going to be yours guaranteed, but it's going to be helpful and it's going to be very useful and it's going to, it's going to bring in some happiness and you're going to be satisfied with the decision that you make. I feel as though you won't have no regrets. This is a relationship that you felt as though you had to go in one more time. You know what I'm saying? Let me see what it do one more time. This person is a provider, you know, but they really don't have a zest for being in a relationship. You, you understand what I'm saying? It's a call for you to escape from this type of toxic 
um, repetitive movement in your life. This person is going to lose out on you because you are a good person. You know what I'm saying? But right now, you know, you're very codependent. So this jotting down of this these these potential endeavors that you want to see come to fruition, um, the G's want you to do that. They want you to do that. They want you to stay vibing high, and they want you to honor your vision, not the vision of somebody else's, period, point blank, and stay conscientious that your children are watching you. That was your message. See you.